Today on Ham Radio Q&A, sending and receiving text messages via APRS. So please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for joining me. I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the Ham Radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, recently, I was up in the northern part of Wisconsin, on Madeline Island, in the Shawamigan Bay, volunteering with the Madeline Island Marathon. Madeline is part of the Apostle Islands on the southern edge of Lake Superior. So, of course, uh, you know, when you um, volunteer for an event like this, you know, you're going to expect perfect weather. But, you know, that's never the case with uh, Lake Superior, and um, it can be quite fickle at times. So, during the marathon, we had cold rain and occasional snow flurry for the whole event. Now, the weather was so bad that on Sunday, uh, the ferry line put out a travel advisory expecting gale force winds, so we had to cut our vacation a day short. But that little story brings us into the topic of today's video. Since I was in northern Wisconsin, where cell coverage is spotty and non-existent in places, I really had no reliable method of communicating back home to my wife. Well, enter amateur radio and a service called SMS Gate. SMS Gate allows you to send and receive uh, short messages via APRS to any cell phone capable of receiving uh, SMS text messages. Now there's going to be some limitations to the service and we'll talk about them in a bit. But as I said before, APRS or the Automated Position Reporting System is a real-time tactical mode that allows you to transmit your geolocation and send and receive short messages and beacons. SMS gate really fits nicely into the goals and purposes of APRS as it allows you to send and receive text messages outside of the APRS messaging system. If you like to spend your time in the backwoods or into overland adventuring, or you're just outside the cell tower's reach, this system could be the difference between getting a message out and not. I wouldn't rely on it with, for life or death uh, situations, but it'll give you that extra layer of communications redundancy. So to send a text message, I'll be using my Yaesu FTM400 dual band mobile radio. Uh, the service also works with the Kenwood TM700 and 710 series radios and the Kenwood and Yaesu handhelds that have the APRS messaging capabilities. The SMS Gate website has a full list of compatible radios that you'll want to check um, to see if your model is compatible before going out into the wilderness. Sending a message involves opening up the messaging feature of your radio and entering SMS gate or SMS GTE into the call sign field. Uh, no SSID number is required. Next, in the message text field, you will enter the at symbol, the phone number you wish to send to, and then the message text. Press the transmit button and the message will go out. If the SMS gate receives the message, it will send back an acknowledgement packet to your radio. The receiving party should get the message. For the receiving party to send the message on their phone, they will send, they will send a message starting with the at symbol and then your call sign and SSID if necessary and then the text of the message. The call sign is necessary so that the message can be properly routed back to your radio via the um, uh, APRS internet stream. On the phone side, there will be no acknowledgement that the message was received, so please be aware of that. Now a quick note, the phone number for SMS gate is non-published, so you will need to send a message first from your radio to a phone to find out what it is. Once you have that number, you can then uh, originate messages from your phone to a radio without first receiving a message. But please don't share or distribute this number as it is only set up for SMS gate messages. Now say you don't want to share uh, your phone number uh, you're messaging to over the air. Uh, you can set up an alias on the SMS gate website so that the system remembers your phone number. They go to the SMS gate website, you know the links to the website are down in the video description below, and then create an alias for however many phone numbers you wish. Then when you send a message, uh, you will enter the alias with that little at symbol in the beginning and then your message. There's other features to SMS gate you know, that are available to the users, like creating shortcut messages, sending a, a ping location on a map, and also requesting a delivery confirmation. Now, you can find out more about these features about, by reading the SMS gate user's guide on the website. 
So what are the limitations of SMS gate? Well, first off, the service only works in the US, Canada, and a few select countries. There's an expense and other issues with sending text messages in other countries. So, you know, the service is limited to regions where there is some um, financial support. Second, uh, your APRS packet needs to be heard by an iGate that offers two-way communications. Some iGates are only one-way re one receive. So this is a great reason why, you know, an iGate should be allow for two-way traffic. And third, APRS stations need to initiate the conversation by, an, by either sending them the first message or being active on the APRS network so the SMS gate can find the station. If the station isn't active on the network, you know, the messaging, messages are going to die without ever leaving the APRS IS data stream. But despite these limitations, the service works as, ex as expected and provides an extra level of communications that would normally not be available. Add SMS gate to your arsenal of communications methods for wilderness use and short range disaster comms. Finally, while the SMS gate service is provided at no charge to amateur radio operators, you know, this isn't a free service. There is an expense to keeping the service running, including the cost of sending and receiving the text messages. So if you use this on a regular basis, please donate to the cause. You know, links in the video are in the video description below. Do you have any questions or comments about SMS gate? Please leave them in the comment area below. I'll follow up on them and maybe pull a few out for my next Your Questions Answered video. Well, for more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. So if you like this video, you know, always give me that big thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos that are recommended alongside here too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. button. Pressing subscribe and the little notification bell will alert you when new videos are produced. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.